this is a and my documentary on Ono Judge, a slave of the Washingtons. So why was Ona Judge important to history? Ona Judge was President George Washington's slave. She became a hu fugitive and sought freedom. And that is why she is important to history. Ona Judge was born to a black woman named Betty and a white man named Andrew Judge. A white tailor that the Washingtons had hired. Unfortunately, she was one of millions of people who had to who learn to live under or the intu intu intuition of slavery. Ona Judge became the personal assistant of uh, Martha Washington at 10 years old. Like her mother, Ona was very skilled at sewing. She had a younger sister named Delphi Judge. When George Washington was elected president, she and s seven other of Washington's slaves would travel to New York and on to Philadelphia. There was a law in Philadelphia that if a slave was there for six months, they were allowed to go to court to claim, claim freedom, so the Washingtons would secretly switch the slaves from Philadelphia and Mount Vernon back and forth to reset the timer, which was illegal. The work uh, Ona would typically do for her Martha is clothe her, help her bathe, clean and mend her clothes, organize her belongings, or anything else required. In Philadelphia, she was given cash a couple times to see a play or go to the circus. She also received high-quality clothing. This was very different from how the other slaves were treated. On May 21st, 1796, she very quietly, while the house was still eating dinner, her owner judge quickly packed her things and snuck out, not knowing where to go. Two days later, there was a $10 ad for Ona's capture. The Washington said she did it with no provocation, and they treated her more like a child than a slave. However, she did have a reason. She learned that when her master and mistress died, she would be given to Eliza Park Custis Law, and according to Ona, she was a brat. She was determined to never be her slave. The Washingtons could not comprehend why she would have wo run away and assumed that she was seduced and enticed away by a Frenchman. Now back to Ona Judge herself. The night she escaped, she rode the Nancy, a boat commanded by Captain John Bowles, all the way to New Hampshire. She never looked back, even in, in New, even New Hampshire. Even in New Hampshire, she still wasn't safe because as a few weeks after she arrived, a friend of, of one of Ona's granddaughters recognized her. I mean Martha. A friend of one of Martha's granddaughters recognized her. George Washington enlisted the help of Joseph Whipple. Whipple tried to convince Judge to go back with the Washingtons. She replied by saying she would rather die than go back to them or be sold to someone else. George was furious when hearing this news and told Whipple to capture her and bring her back. He, he had many, he, he had made many attempts at capturing her, but never succeeded. Ona eventually found and married a man named Jack Staines, who was a free a black sailor and married him. They had three children named Eliza, Will, and Nancy. In August 1779, George Washington made one last attempt to recapture her. He asked Burwell Bassett Jr. to do it for him. He successfully found her and tried to persuade her into going back, but she refused. Though Washington told him not to use it troublesome or unpleasant methods of getting her back, he was determined to bring her back with force. One of the Langdons warned her about this. Judge's husband was at sea, and she had one of her her one-year-old in her arms. She hired a horse and carriage to take her back to her friend Nancy Jack's house. Bassett returned to Virginia empty-handed. After George Washington's death in 1799, the Washington 
and is no longer worried to Ona, but now the Custis is dead. She was still living in Nancy's house when she he was interviewed in the 1840s. She told them that living with the Washington and that she never received any mental or moral instruction, but after she came to Portsmouth, she learned to read and write. Her mother, Betty, died in January 1795. Ona Judge died in 1848. And that is my documentary on Ona Judge, a fugitive slave of the Washingtons.